So Liz Cheney is safe. Uh, earlier tonight, Republicans met to discuss the possibility of kicking her out of the party's leadership team for having the audacity to vote to actually impeach Trump, their almighty ruler. Also tonight, uh, apparently half of the Republicans in the House stood up and gave a standing ovation to the QAnon Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. That's according to this uh, tweet from Cameron Joseph. No word upon it was the full half of the uh, Republicans there, and apparently she did make some sort of apology. Who knows what? But yes, apparently she did get a standing ovation. So again, just to be clear... If you have the courage to stand up to the leader of your party, who helped lead your, an armed insurrection against the United States, had you all hiding at her desk and, uh, you know, fearing for your lives, uh, if you vote to impeach that person, you will be faced uh, getting kicked out of your leadership position and potentially, uh, you know, losing your election back home by being primaried. But on the other hand, if you do crazy shit like, uh, I don't know, uh, support killing Nancy Pelosi or former president, you know, Barack Obama, or even claim that school shootings were actually staged by the Democrats so they could take away your gun rights. If you think that school shootings are really just state of events, then these are all, you know, very, very good actors here who are just pretending to lose their family and friends. Uh, also, uh, the medical, the EMS people there who are pretending to take care of these survivors of the sh school shootings. If you do support that, that crazy, crazy theory, and hey, even if you attack one of these survivors on the street. David, why are you supporting the red flag laws? If there had been, if Scott Peterson, the resource officer at Parkland, had done his job, then Nicholas Cruz wouldn't have killed anybody in your high school, or at least protected them. If you do all of that, you will apparently get a standing ovation from half the Republicans in the House. And again, yeah, she's attacking that, you know, uh, that kid on the street. You now, that is David Hogg, who, uh, you know... I don't know how you feel about the Parkland shooting. I don't know what side of the aisle you're on, but uh, it's kind of shit to attack someone who's a you know a school shooting survivor and saying, oh, it's someone else's fault. Like, how are you gonna question someone who survived a school shooting? What a crazy person. But I don't know what's crazier. Her have her crazy ridiculous theories or the fact that Republicans actually put her on an education committee. Makes no damn sense. And it really shows that we are living in two different Americas. And the GOP is in two different spots. It's sad, but it's true. Half the GOP in the country, uh, you know, views Liz Cheney as a hero who stood up for her country. The other half, they're following Marjorie Taylor Greene. And they're really looking at her as a hero for owning the libs. Because that's what it's all about to them. They All they care about is owning the libs. Right? And so Democrats don't actually have the votes to kick Green out of office. But what they can do is kick her off of that education committee, which, again, I'm very much hoping that they do. That would be, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's definitely take her out of anything to do with education. And if my math is correct, you know, we'll see before. I, I, I still have a lot of doubts that they would actually kick her out of Congress. Um, I'm sure that's happened before in history, but not in recent history. So it'd be pretty unprecedented. But if they do, you know, if, if it is true that half the Republicans got up and gave her a standing ovation, well, that means the other half didn't. And so the breakdown in Congress right now is there are 222, I believe, House Democrats. There's 211 House Republicans, right? And so if you split that in half, who knows? I wasn't in there counting the, counting the people that were standing up and cheering. But if you split that in half... That would kind of that would potentially get you to that two thirds majority that you would need to kick Green out of Congress, and so my big takeaway from this story is that hey, uh, as shitty as it is that uh, Liz Cheney has to apologize and Green gets a standing ovation, maybe there actually might be more uh, folks who want to kick her out than I previously thought. Now who knows? Stay tuned and uh, watch this space. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you. So much for watching Citizen Pete. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, click that little subscribe button, 
maybe the like button, and hey, maybe, maybe, just leave a comment. You know, I want to know what you're thinking. What do you think about all the politics and news and all the stuff that's going on in our country?